Welcome back to Old Chiller, your go-to place for everything coin collecting. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of UK halfpenny coins. We're counting down the top 10 most valuable UK halfpennies in today's market. These coins are not just pieces of metal, but a slice of history, so let's get started. First up, United Kingdom halfpenny from 1943. Specifically, we'll be discussing its value in fine condition in today's auction market. If you're a collector or just curious about the world of numismatics, stick around as we explore what makes this coin so special. The halfpenny coin has a long-standing history in the United Kingdom, with its first introduction in 1672. However, the 1943 halfpenny carries a unique significance due to its context within World War II. During this time, Britain was facing economic challenges and the government needed to streamline coin production to conserve materials. This period saw the minting of coins made from bronze, which were less expensive to produce. The design of the 1943 halfpenny features a beautiful depiction of the British emblem, the portcullis on the reverse side symbolizing the strength and resilience of the British people. The obverse showcases the profile of King George VI, whose reign marked a turbulent time in British history. Let's take a closer look at the specifications of the 1943 halfpenny. The coin is made of bronze, measures 25.5 mm in diameter, and weighs approximately 9.4 grams. In fine condition, you can expect to see moderate wear on the coin's surfaces, but it should still retain most of its original details, with some visible wear on the high points. Now, let's get to the big question, what is the value of the United Kingdom halfpenny 1943 in fine condition in today's auction market? The value can vary based on factors such as demand, rarity, and overall condition. Currently, the market value for a 1943 halfpenny in fine condition ranges from approximately $186,000. This range can fluctuate based on the specific auction, collector interest, and market trends. For instance, coins with exceptional provenance or those that are part of a significant collection can fetch higher prices. If you're considering adding the 1943 halfpenny to your collection, here are a few tips to keep in mind. First, always verify the coin's condition and authenticity. If possible, obtain coins that have been graded by reputable grading services. Additionally, pay attention to auction listings and be aware of market trends to ensure you're making informed purchasing decisions. There are various places to find the 1943 halfpenny for sale including online auction platforms like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or specialized numismatic websites. Local coin shops and shows are also great places to discover this coin and connect with other collectors. Next up, the United Kingdom half penny from 1942. We'll explore its history, significance, and most importantly, its value in today's auction market. So, let's get started. The United Kingdom half penny coin from 1942 is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. Struck during World War II, this coin carries not only monetary value but also historical significance. The UK was facing numerous challenges during this time and every coin produced held its own story of resilience and adaptation. The design of the 1942 halfpenny is attributed to the famous British engraver Sir Edward B. Pepe. On the obverse, we see the portrait of King George VI, who reigned from 1936 to 1952, the reverse features the iconic image of a brown hair symbolizing agility and speed, which is a nod to the agricultural themes common in British coinage of that era. The coin is made of bronze, weighing approximately 9.4 grams and measuring 25.5 mm in diameter. The mintage for the 1942 halfpenny is relatively high, with over 20 million coins produced. However, its condition significantly impacts its value today. When it comes to coin collecting, condition is key. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to perfect mint state. For our focus today, we're discussing the fine condition, which means the coin shows moderate wear but retains most of its design details and features. In fine condition, you'll notice that the details are visible, but there may be some flattening of the design, especially in the highest points. The color may have darkened slightly, but the coin is still in great shape for collectors. So, how much is the 1942 halfpenny worth in today's auction market? Well, prices can vary based on several factors, including the seller, the auction platform, and the demand among collectors. 
As of now, a half penny from 1942, in fine condition, typically sells for anywhere between $100,000 at auction. Some rare instances have seen this coin fetch higher prices, especially if it has unique characteristics or if it comes with documentation proving its authenticity. Recent auctions have showcased sales around the $132,000 mark, depending on the coin's provenance and condition. The 1942 half penny is often sought after by collectors due to its historical context. While it may not be the most valuable coin out there, it's certainly a great addition to any collection, especially for those interested in World War II era memorabilia. To wrap up, the United Kingdom half penny from 1942 in fine condition represents a slice of history that resonates with both collectors and historians alike. Its value may not be sky high, but its significance in the world of numismatics cannot be overlooked whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, consider keeping an eye out for this unique coin. It's a perfect example of how history and currency intersect. Next up the United Kingdom half penny from 1947. We'll explore its history, significance and most importantly, its value in today's auction market. So, let's get started. The United Kingdom halfpenny coin from 1947 large date is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. Struck during World War II, this coin carries not only monetary value but also historical significance. The UK was facing numerous challenges during this time and every coin produced held its own story of resilience and adaptation. The design of the 1947 halfpenny is attributed to the famous British engraver Sir Edward B. Pepep. On the obverse, we see the portrait of King George VI, who reigned from 1936 to 1952. The reverse features the iconic image of a brown hare symbolizing agility and speed, which is a nod to the agricultural themes common in British coinage of that era. The coin is made of bronze, weighing approximately 9.4 grams and measuring 25.5 mm in diameter. The mintage for the 1947 halfpenny large date is relatively high with over 20 million coins produced. However, its condition significantly impacts its value today. When it comes to coin collecting, condition is key. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to perfect mint state for our focus today. We're discussing the fine condition which means the coin shows moderate wear but retains most of its design details and features. In fine condition you'll notice that the details are visible but there may be some flattening of the design, especially in the highest points the color may have darkened slightly but the coin is still in great shape for collectors. So, how much is the 1947 half penny worth in today's auction market? Well, Prices can vary based on several factors including the seller, the auction platform, and the demand among collectors. As of now, a half penny from 1947, large date, in fine condition, typically sells for anywhere between $144,000 at auction. Some rare instances have seen this coin fetch higher prices, especially if it has unique characteristics or if it comes with documentation proving its authenticity. Recent auctions have showcased sales around the $156,000 mark, depending on the coin's provenance and condition. The 1947 half penny is often sought after by collectors due to its historical context. While it may not be the most valuable coin out there, it's certainly a great addition to any collection, especially for those interested in World War II era memorabilia. To wrap up, the United Kingdom half penny from 1947 in fine condition represents a slice of history that resonates with both collectors and historians alike. Its value may not be sky high, but its significance in the world of numismatics cannot be overlooked. Next up, the United Kingdom half penny from 1962. You might be surprised to learn just how valuable this little coin can be, especially when it's in fine condition. In today's video, we'll explore its design, historical context, and most importantly, its current market value in auctions. So, let's get started. First, let's take a closer look at the coin itself. The 1962 half penny features a stunning design by the renowned engraver Thomas Humphrey Paget. On the obverse, we see the profile of Queen Elizabeth II, which has become iconic in British coinage. The reverse side features a beautifully detailed design of a seated figure of Britannia, a symbol of British strength and unity. This coin was minted during a significant period in British history, just before the decimalization of currency in 1971, which makes it an interesting collectible for both seasoned numismatists and new collectors alike. 
To understand the value of the 1962 halfpenny, we need to consider its historical context. The halfpenny was part of the pre-decimal system, where the British currency was based on pounds, shillings, and pence. This coin saw extensive circulation until the shift to decimal currency, after which many of these coins were melted down or simply discarded. Consequently, fewer coins from this era remain in circulation today, particularly in higher grades like fine condition, which adds to its allure among collectors. Now, let's talk about coin grading. A coin in fine condition shows signs of wear but retains most of its details. You might notice some light scratches and a bit of toning, but the key features should be clearly visible. The value of coins can vary dramatically based on their condition, and this is particularly true for the 1962 halfpenny. So, what's the current market value for the United Kingdom halfpenny 1962 in fine condition? As of today, you can expect this coin to fetch anywhere from $36,000 at auction, depending on factors like demand and the auction house's reputation. However, in recent auctions, we've seen some coins in exceptionally good fine condition sell for even higher, sometimes reaching $38,000 or more if they come with proven provenance or if they're part of a larger collection. It's all about finding the right buyer who appreciates the coin's historical significance and rarity. If you're considering adding the 1962 halfpenny to your collection or planning to sell one, here are a few tips. First, always have your coin authenticated by a reputable grading service. This will help establish its value and ensure potential buyers are confident in their purchase. Second, keep an eye on auction platforms like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or specialized numismatic auction sites. These can give you a good sense of current market trends and pricing. In conclusion, the United Kingdom Halfpenny 1962, in fine condition, is not just a coin, it's a piece of history that reflects a significant time in British currency. Whether you're a collector or just starting out, understanding its value in today's auction market can help you make informed decisions. Next up the world of British coinage, focusing on the United Kingdom halfpenny from 1949 with a large date in fine condition. This video will explore its fascinating history, its unique features, and most importantly, its value in today's auction market in dollars. Before we discuss the value, let's take a closer look at the coin itself. The 1949 halfpenny is a part of the pre-decimal British coinage. The halfpenny, or haypenny as it was colloquially known, was in circulation from the 17th century until it was phased out in the 20th century. The 1949 halfpenny features a portrait of King George VI on the obverse side. King George VI, who reigned from 1936 to 1952, is perhaps best known for his leadership during World War II and for being the father of Queen Elizabeth II. His profile is encircled by the inscription Jaw gives VIDGBR Omrex for DIDF, which stands for George VI by the grace of God, King of all the Britons, Defender of the Faith. On the reverse side, we have the image of the Golden Hind, the ship famously captained by Sir Francis Drake during his circumnavigation of the globe from 1577 to 1580. The intricate detail of the ship is a testament to the craftsmanship of the Royal Mint. The date 1949 is prominently displayed below the ship and the words halfpenny are inscribed above. The halfpenny has a long and storied history. Initially introduced in the early 1600s, it was made from copper and later from bronze. By 1949, the coin was made from bronze, a mix of 97% copper, 2.5% zinc, and 0.5% zinc. The coin weighs 5.67 grams and has a diameter of 25.48 millimeters. Condition is crucial when it comes to coin collecting. The 1949 halfpenny we're discussing today is in fine condition. This means it shows moderate wear, with all major details visible and clear. It's a desirable grade for collectors because it balances affordability with preservation of the coin's design. Now, let's talk about value. The value of a 1949 halfpenny can vary significantly based on its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. In today's auction market, a 1949 halfpenny, in fine condition, can fetch a range of prices. Generally, these coins sell for around $23,000, however, certain factors like provenance, historical significance, and market trends can push the price higher. 
In recent auctions, we've seen examples of the 1949 half penny in fine condition selling for up to $27,000 or more, especially if they are part of a larger collection or have been authenticated by a reputable grading service. It's always exciting to see how these coins perform at auction, as their value can fluctuate based on the current interest in British coinage. For collectors, the 1949 half penny is a wonderful addition to any collection of British coins. It represents a post-war Britain and a monarch who led the country through some of its most challenging times. Its historical significance and charming design make it a favourite among numismatists. Next up the United Kingdom half penny from 1944 in very fine condition. We'll explore its historical significance, unique features, and most importantly, its value in today's auction market. The United Kingdom half penny of 1944 is a coin rich in history. Minted during the final years of World War II, this coin features the iconic portrait of King George VI on the obverse, and on the reverse, the traditional depiction of a ship which has become symbolic of British half pennies the 1944 issue is particularly notable due to its wartime context, making it a cherished piece for collectors. Let's take a closer look at the details. On the obverse we see the crowned effigy of King George VI, designed by Thomas Humphrey Paget. The inscription reads Jaw Gives VI, which stands for George VI by the grace of God, King of all the Britons, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India, the reverse side features the image of the Golden Hind, the ship famously associated with Sir Francis Drake. Condition plays a crucial role in the value of a coin. Today we're focusing on a 1944 half penny in very fine condition. This means the coin has been well preserved with minimal wear on the high points and clear, distinct details. For collectors, a coin in very fine condition is a desirable find, offering a balance between affordability and quality. Now, let's talk about the value. The market for collectible coins is dynamic, influenced by factors such as rarity, demand, and historical significance. In today's auction market, a 1944 half penny in very fine condition can fetch a range of prices. Typically, you might see these coins selling anywhere from $232,000 depending on the specific auction and the coin's provenance. The 1944 half penny holds more than just monetary value it represents a slice of history from a tumultuous period. Collectors often seek such coins not only for their investment potential but also for their historical significance. Owning a coin from this era is like holding a piece of the past in your hands. When buying or selling coins at an auction, it's essential to understand the process. Bidding can be competitive, so it's wise to set a budget and stick to it pay attention to the coin's condition and consider consulting with a numismatic expert if you're unsure about its value. Auctions can be thrilling, and with a bit of knowledge, you can make informed decisions. In summary, the United Kingdom half penny from 1944, in very fine condition, is a valuable and historically significant coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or new to the hobby, this coin is a fascinating addition to any collection. Its value in today's auction market reflects its rarity and the rich history it embodies. Next up the 1959 United Kingdom half penny, and not just any half penny, but one in dirty condition. You might be surprised at how much this seemingly humble coin can fetch in today's auction market. Before we get into the nitty gritty details, let's take a brief look at the history of the UK half penny. The half penny, or hay penny, as it's often called, has been a staple of British currency for centuries. The 1959 version features the iconic design of a ship, the Golden Hind, which was Sir Francis Drake's famous galleon on the obverse, you'll find the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Mary Gillick. This coin was part of the pre-decimal currency system, which means it was used before the UK switched to the decimal system in 1971. Now, let's talk about the condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, and a coin in dirty condition typically falls on the lower end of this scale, but don't let that discourage you. Even coins that aren't in pristine condition can have significant value, especially if they have historical importance or rarity. When it comes to the 1959 half penny, a coin in dirty condition might show signs of wear, discoloration, or surface dirt. These factors can affect the coin's appearance, but not necessarily its value collectors and investors look at several factors, including rarity demand and the coin's story. So what's the story with the 1959 half penny in dirty condition? 
First, let's establish its rarity. While the 1959 half penny isn't the rarest coin out there, it's still sought after by collectors, especially those who focus on Queen Elizabeth II's early reign. This period marked the transition from the old King George VI coins to the new Queen Elizabeth II coins, making them historically significant. Now, let's get to the exciting part its value in today's auction market. Despite its condition, a 1959 half penny in dirty condition can still attract significant attention. On average, these coins can sell for anywhere from $17,000 depending on the level of interest and the specific details of the coin. However, there have been instances where particularly appealing examples, even in less than perfect condition, have sold for higher amounts. Auctions are a dynamic place, and prices can vary. A few years ago, a dirty 1959 half penny sold for around $20,000 at an auction, which was quite a surprise. This just goes to show that the right coin, at the right time, can fetch a good price. Websites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, and other numismatic auction sites are great places to track recent sales and get a sense of the current market value. To determine the value of your own 1959 half penny, I recommend a few steps. First, check out recent auction results for similar coins. Next, consider getting your coin appraised by a professional. And finally, stay informed about the market trends. Coin values can fluctuate based on demand and market interest. So, there you have it the intriguing story and potential value of the 1959 United Kingdom half penny in dirty condition. It's a reminder that every coin has a story, and even those that aren't in perfect condition can be valuable pieces of history. Next up, the most valuable UK half penny from 1965, specifically in extra fine condition. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare finds, this video is for you. Let's start with some background. The UK half penny coin was a staple of British currency for many years. The 1965 half penny is part of the series that was introduced in 1958. It was struck in bronze and features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by engraver Arnold Machine on the obverse and a depiction of a rose, thistle, shamrock, and leek representing the four nations of the UK on the reverse. Now, what makes the 1965 half penny particularly valuable? The key factors include its rarity, condition, and historical significance. Although the 1965 half penny is not as scarce as some other vintage coins, the extra fine condition makes it stand out in the collector's market. To understand why an extra fine coin commands a premium, let's briefly touch on coin grading. Coins are graded based on their condition, ranging from poor P to mint state MS extra fine is just a step below uncirculated, meaning the coin has minimal wear and retains most of its original details. The 1965 half penny in extra fine condition is highly sought after by collectors for several reasons. First, it's a transitional piece, marking the end of an era for the half penny before it was eventually withdrawn from circulation in 1984. Second, it's relatively high quality in an era when many coins were heavily used makes it a rare find. Let's talk numbers. In recent auction markets, the value of the 1965 half penny in extra fine condition has seen a notable increase, while typical examples in good or very fine condition might fetch between $10,000 those in extra fine condition can com command significantly higher prices. Depending on the auction and the specific quality of the coin, you could expect to see prices ranging from $15,000. To get a sense of its current market value, let's look at a few recent sales. At a recent auction, an extra fine 1965 half penny sold for approximately $36,000 another example, in exceptionally pristine extra fine condition. Fetched close to $65,000 these values reflect the high demand and the premium collectors are willing to pay for well-preserved examples. Collecting coins like the 1965 half penny is not just about monetary value. It's about preserving a piece of history and appreciating the artistry and craftsmanship that went into each coin. If you're fortunate enough to own one of these coins, it's a valuable addition to any collection. Next up the 1956 United Kingdom half penny. Specifically, we'll be looking at its value in fine condition in today's auction market. So, if you're a coin collector or just curious about rare coins, stay tuned. First, let's set the stage with a bit of history. The UK half penny coin from 1956 was part of a series minted from 1953 to 1967. 
This coin was introduced as part of the post-war coinage reform and was struck in bronze, featuring a design by the engraver Christopher Ironside. On the obverse, we see the profile of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Mary Gillick. The reverse features a depiction of a rose, thistle and shamrock, representing the three constituent countries of the United Kingdom. It's a beautiful classic design that holds a lot of historical significance. Now let's talk about coin grading. The term fine in numismatic terms refers to a coin with moderate wear but with clear details and no major damage. In fine condition, you can expect to see some wear on the high points, but the coin's overall design is still easily identifiable coins in fine condition are generally considered collectible, but their value can vary based on several factors including rarity demand and overall market conditions. So, what's the value of a 1956 UK half penny in fine condition today? As of recent auctions and sales, prices can vary. On average, you might see these coins fetching between $26,000 in fine condition. However, if you have a particularly well-preserved example, or if it has unique characteristics, it could potentially command a higher price. Recent auction records show that well-maintained 1956 half pennies have sold for around $25,000 of dollars. These figures can fluctuate based on the specific details of each coin and the dynamics of the auction market. If you're looking to buy or sell a 1956 half penny, here are a few tips ensure that the coin is accurately graded and that you're dealing with reputable dealers or auction houses. Also, keep an eye on market trends as coin values can change over time. In conclusion, the 1956 UK half penny in fine condition remains a valued piece among collectors. Its historical significance, combined with its relatively affordable price, makes it a great addition to any collection. And if you have any questions or need further information, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.